Bill Bobeo, fellas. Okay, this is a full season franchise where I do a wheel spin. Well, someone else is going to do the wheel spin because I want you guys to know it's legit. Whatever team it lands on, I am playing a full season with that team. Now, I want this to be kind of a weekly to bi-weekly series. I'd love to do a franchise with every single team in the NFL. So, if this is something you like, like you said, these take about 26 hours to make total. If we get 10,000 likes this video, I will do another one next week. Um, and comment down below right now, what is your dream team that you want to see in a franchise? A team that you've never seen before. I'm interested in you guys think. So I have my buddy, Micah. Um, he's a streamer. He's, I'm going to let make him, I'm gonna let him tell you guys all of his info. I want you guys to go show this guy love. He is an absolute awesome friend. Um, and he is going to be recording on OBS, him spinning a wheel for my team. I didn't want to just do it here. I want to make sure somebody else did. So you guys know it's legit. I'm not, cause I know if I get a good team, people are going to think I'm going to cheat. So we're going to call him and then you guys are going to have his point of view on the screen. Well, you probably have my face kind of in the side. Okay. Okay. We're good. We're, uh, you have the wheel spit up. Yep. Got it right now. Oh, okay. So where, where can these people find you? Cause everyone watching is going to go. So where, where can they find you? Uh, my Instagram is Mike two wavy. Yeah. M I K E the number two. Wavy with two V's and two Y's. Uh, my Twitch is the same thing. My uh, my Twitter is Mike Two Wavy, but instead of the number two, it's T O O. And my YouTube is also Mike Two Wavy. The okay. same thing as my Instagram. Go follow him on all four, all four of his social. Okay, Mike, you have the wheel up right now. Yep, got it. Right okay, now. who do you think I'd be best with before you spin? See, I, I really want you to have a challenge, you know, like, because this is going more than one year, huh? Uh, this will most likely be one year with XP okay, well, increased. But, yeah, most uh, likely one year. Okay. So, I, I really kind of want you to have a challenge. So, the team I really, I can see you, like, kind of being good with but not overpowered, um, the Jacksonville Jaguars. I was thinking uh, the same. Yeah, Jaguars. Potentially the Falcons because I know you like to run the ball and stuff and they got a great running attack. So, uh, yeah. Hey. Jaguars are Falcons, the two, thing, two teams I really think you were, uh, you'd be good with. Okay, well, the anticipation's killing me, bro. Spin it. All right. Okay, and then I, I can't see it, so you're just going to have to tell me who it lands on. All right, I got you, I got you. Spin it, spin Oh, my gosh. Spin oh, my gosh. TD Barrett has the Miami Dolphins. TD Barrett got the Miami Dolphins. Bruh! Jalen Waddle. Two a tug of a la la love ya? Two a turn the ball over. No, tug of a la la love ya, bro. That's what we stuck with. Two a turn the ball over. Oh, I get Reek and I get Waddle and I get Xavier, Charles Xavier. Dude, I. Congratulations. Dude, that's that's tough. I, hey, that's tough. I'm going to make two on X Factor in one season. I love. Oh my gosh. Okay, hey, appreciate you, man. It's a boo, fellas. Miami Dolphins, right? Dude, the wheel spin could not have given me a more fun team. I am so excited for this. There's one player on this team that, if you guys know, commented down below. There's a Canadian on the Miami Dolphins. This is a trivia question, okay? For all you NFL fans, there's one Canadian on the Dolphins. Who is that Canadian? You have three seconds to answer, and then I'm going to show you. I'm about to go through this roster. I feel great about this. I love Tua. This dude, man, Javon Hollum, Holland from Coquitlam, BC. I believe Coquitlam is a Canadian and he's an absolute freaking superstar. Six foot one, he's gonna be my user. 91 speed, 92 acceleration. I'm gonna show the entire team first, obviously. Go through everything. Um, and then talk about like what the plans are. Guys, this kid, I, if you want this to go down season, let me know because I'm kind of like, this is going to be fun. Quarterback, Tua Tagovaila, love you. You guys know I love Tua, bro. I absolutely love Tua. I had the pleasure of getting to play him in Madden, even just for like 20 minutes. And I just was like, yo, I'm a big fan of you. He followed me on Instagram. That's a big thing. You know, he followed me. This is for you, Tua. I love you. Motivations, franchise QB. He's a lefty. A lot of people struggle with Tua. But my goal here is to just end that. I, I want, P I want like... To really prove to this league how good I am and how good of a passer I can be, I want to go crazy with Tua. I want to have an MVP type season. Um, to me, he's got no stat that's amazing, but a lot of stats that are pretty good. And he's an 83 overall star dev. He's one game away from becoming a superstar. He's got I got weapons to throw to. I have tons of athletes on this team that I can get the ball to. This is my QB, bro, and I cannot wait to see what we can do with Tua Tagovailoa. Love you, bro. Absolutely love that. 
Uh, running back. We have Raheem the Dream Mostert. So this is where it's interesting. Um, they have a couple. Like I'm probably yeah. I'm going with with Mostert. 95 speed, 95 acceleration. This even if this were to go two years, I think I'd still go Mostert. Um, he's also a star dev, ridiculously fast. 95 up, 95 down. Running back. Not necessarily my style of running backs. If you guys watch my videos, you know I am a bit more of like more of a style that I would go for would be a Jeff Wilson out of Texas, a little bit bigger, a um, little bit taller, and maybe a little, like, it can fall forward a bit more. But <clears throat> at least for the beginning, until I, like, see otherwise, until I see that I'm maybe not that good with him, Raheem Mostert is my running back. Open and shut case. Don't at me. That's my running back. Now, let's talk receivers because when I tell you they're bananas, when I tell you they're bananas, they are bananas. My gosh. Jalen Waddell and Tyreek Hill with abilities. Jalen Waddell has short and uh, elite. He also can get route apprentice. Both of them are absolutely insane. This is the craziest thing about getting this team. You have two 98 plus speed receivers. Teams got to play back. You're not going to, no one's going to play man against us, which makes me think the run's going to be open. The, like I look at this team and I see two and I see so many possibilities because I'm like, I just feel like I can really stretch the field with these guys. Tyree kills only 28. Um, Please let me do multiple years of this. Like, bro, this could be so fun. Imagine me making two an X Factor. Just try and picture that for a minute. Um, he gets route apprentice. I'll probably go double me on Tyreek Hill. This is where I'm trying to decide what scheme to use. With everything, like, they got a bit of a drop off. Um, this guy's not bad. He's a rookie. I was kind of looking for a rookie or... Somebody, they have a bit of a drop off at receiver three, and I think most people would agree with that, um, which is why I might be running a bit of a creative scheme. Now, tight end wise, this is why I might be running a creative scheme. They have this dude named Tanner Connor, an 89 speed, 89 acceleration tight end, and then they have Gesicki, who's really good. I might run a two tight end set with these with this team and try and make this Tanner Connor out of Idaho State crazy. That's it's just like. Well, he's a 54 overall, but he's fast. I potentially think the best way to win with this team off the jump. I have two receivers out there, two tight ends, and audible down to the run game. That's what I think is kind of the most scary because you don't have a great three. So, and you don't want to get into a lot of like crazy, like drop back, blah, third, and, like with Tua. Like he's a, he can throw a lot of the shorter stuff really good, but I don't know how crazy I want to get early in the season with him. So I'll probably be running my um, one of my more creative schemes in this franchise. Left tackle, bro. They not only got a good offense, they got secure protector and edge protector with Armstead, who's a monster. Little bit of drop off there. Connor Williams, how old are you? And are you star development? Six foot five out of Texas. Robert Hunt. Um, and then they're a little bit, no, 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 I'll probably go Austin, Austin Jack, Jackson on that side. Now, defense, Emmanuel Ogba, I'm a fan of Oklahoma State, dude's a good player. Uh, I don't know how much he'll play. It all depends on what we see, because I looked at this briefly. Trey Flowers, Christian Wilkins, um, he's a beast. Oh my gosh, six foot four. I'll probably play him as my true defensive tackle. Um, he's a star dev, Clemson guy. Really good block shedding, really good tackle. Yeah, he's gonna he's more of a D tackle in my scheme though. So he'll definitely be playing that. Defensive tackle, yeah, that's that's where he'll be. Now, Bradley Chubb. They brought in Bradley Chubb. Some people were like, he didn't go too crazy, but I think I can make him crazy. Give, imagine a breakout for Bradley Chubb. Imagine the dynasty we could create here. And they got Melvin Ingram, middle linebacker. They have Jerome, the man, Baker. And they have also Channing Tindall. These are what I really like because I probably am going to put Channing on the outside. And same with Jerome. Jerome's just a good player in general. You want him on the field. And then Jalen Phillips, dude. This guy is really, really, really fun. I love that he went to Miami. Um, we have two great edge rushers on this team. Like, really, really, really great edge rushers um, who do a lot of things super, super, super well. Okay, at DB. Um, we're a bit old, but we're talented. Um, Byron Jones. This is the thing. Byron is 29 years old, but always been one of my favorite Madden DBs. Um, guess who did he used to play for? He used to play for the Cowboys, in case you didn't. He was a Dallas Cowboy. He was a big, uh, he was a fan favorite in Dallas for a while. He's kind of my main DB. 92 speed, um, 94 acceleration. Dude's a beast. And then you got Charles Xavier out of Baylor. Super underrated dude. Acrobat and pick artist um, as the abilities. Two really fun abilities. Um, and he, I just love him. I don't know where I'm going to play him yet. Probably in the slot. 
Uh, who knows, okay? Um, this dude, it looks like he had a really good year. Yeah, no, he looked like he had a, from Texas A&M. I don't, if you're a Dolphins fan, you'll have to let me know because to be a rookie who got drafted, I don't, I bet he was undrafted by the fact he doesn't have a picture. Um, to be a rookie that has that good of stats, yeah, undrafted 75. Let me know about this dude. He's going to start for me. Noah, Noah, if you guys don't remember Noah, um, still star dev, still has that potential. I want to make him a superstar, bro. He deserves it. He was a, a first round pick um, who hasn't really panned out for them. Not that he's been bad. He just, I wouldn't say that he's like, become what a lot of Dolphins fans would have liked to see. And Keon Crossan, speed kills. Um, I like our DBs. And then at safety, you got this dude. You got Elijah Campbell, who's a great user. Javon Holland, who I've already talked about. Eric Rowe, Rowe, Rowe. And then Brandon Jones. And then Clayton, um, not even going to try. But Javon Holland's my user. I, because he's a Canadian, nothing would bring me more joy than to go win a bowl with Javon Holland, bro. That's, he, to, he, to me, is one of the cooler players. Kicker, I'll probably try and get a better kicker. But guys... All I want to say to you right now is Tua, Tagovailoa, love you, bro. Let's dance. We're going to go through the preseason. Hopefully, we get some type of breakout in the preseason. Um, and yeah, let's go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boom. Week number one. Um, season goal. I feel like this team is good enough to, to win the Super Bowl. I, I, I'm i definitely not going for anything other than winning the Super Bowl. I, I feel like we got a good squad here. I feel like I can be – that, especially that, with that rookie tight end um, – Running those kind of two tight end sets, I don't know for sure. Like, he's a 50 freaking eight overall. I'm not going to try and sound like a dude. There might be a free agent tight end, actually, that may be a little bit better. Because I do want to run two tight end sets with this team. So, let's just see if there is a, a free agent that maybe is a little bit more. Yeah, no, right there. JJ. JJ Arcega Whiteside is probably a better bet than that dude. Yeah, no, he's a, he's a, he's a good player. He's 89 speed. I, I like that, actually. I like the idea of bringing him on board because I'll, I'll cut somebody. But that rookie is also tough, bro. I'd love to make that rookie just crazy um, because he is younger and 89 speed is ridiculous. But opening day keys, as you guys know, I always go um, stop the run because no one ever runs in these leagues. So it's like, oh, it's a pretty like it's pretty open and shut. If you go past, people you can usually throw for 300. But if you go stuffing the run, there's a really good chance that you're actually going to pull it off. Um, and then your whole D-line uh, will get a lot of XP for that. So, guys, let's do our upgrades. Let's do our official depth chart. Tyree Kill, bro. I can't believe I have Tyree. I cannot believe. I cannot believe I have Tyree Kill. Jet. I don't know how. This is going to be too good. I might run Wildcat, dude. I am going to just have so much fun with this and enjoy this. Like, I I don't want to overthink this. I don't want to. I literally just want to enjoy this and just have the most beautiful season of all time. Tua, we're going to go Scrambler because I'm, I'm trying to get his throw power a little bit up. And Scrambler tends to be my best upgrade that I do. Um, awareness, boom, plus one speed and throw power. Boom, Tua, we see you, man. I see you. I I see you. Mike Gesicki, um, vertical threat, dude's a beast, 82. Getting up to an 82 overall, plus one agility, plus one release. Uh, Emmanuel Logba, Morstead, Cedric Wilson, Noah. Ooh, Noah. Noah's the big one. Like I said Noah has the potential because he's a star dev dude. So it's like, if I can get him an upgrade, bro, and make him a beast, that would just be so cool for all Dolphins fans. I feel like all Dolphins fans can get behind that and be like, yeah, Brett, good job. Cool. Uh, I'm going to do with the death chart on my own time because I feel like I've rambled too much. Patriots, week number one, going up against Money Mac Jones. These are all real rosters, so I don't really got to show you the roster. You know who's on the Patriots. Bump and run, man press. Let's dance. And we are underway from Miami. Noah Igbenogany from his end zone. No, I did not. No, Noah! He's past the 30. Is this just the sign of this franchise? No, no, no. Is this going to be, is this going to be the franchise? Bang. Good play. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Oh, that's a beam. Not even mad, dude. That's my third player in the league. Here's Jones. Throwing on Jacoby. Nope. Yes, sir. Need it. Need it. Need it. Need it. Need it. Elijah Campbell. Okay. For the first time, we're about to see the offense led by Tua Tagovailoa. Love ya, man. Let's dance. My players, like, see how he's got to back off on Jalen Waddle? Like, 
Stuff like this to Tyree Kill. Those are the throws that I know for a fact Tua is going to make every single time. So we need to make sure that we make those throws, get them to come up, and then we start trying to dot them downfield. We got this, bro. This is, this is the dynasty. This is the Miami dynasty. Good throw, Tua. Good throw, Tua. I see you, man. Now a play fake. Here's Tug of Iloa. Oh my gosh, Tyreek. Dude, I think I can break every five for five with Tua. What did I say? Simple football. Play action. Now it's two. Wanna keep leaving that open, my friend? Let's dance. Up top. Tyreek Kill. Simple. From the red zone now. They'll look to throw. Yep. First down. Hmm, I will Two take three. Now. It's just Good not goal. really my plan. No! Tua! Tug him up! I love ya! Bang! MVP Tua, baby! That's tough, dude. I, I really thought I had that. Dang, man. And he gets ball. If, if he can somehow... He, he's just trying to get in field goal range and save that timeout. If he can somehow get seven here, he's going up top. I know it. Ah, uh, John U. He's going to go three. Folks, kick is good. And they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this. Get game. there, Holland. Oh gosh. The running game struggled in the first. Now Jones throwing on third and long. No freaking way. Okay, oh. Tua. Mental. On play action. Here's Tua. I'm just throwing it. I don't think he's actually gonna guard it. Good job, Gisicki. From the 45 on second down. Yep. Tua. He'll get it once more into the hands of Hill. Three helps. Back to throw is Tua. Now look at this. They get the turnover. Dang. That was a beautiful lurk. Okay, I'm learning. I'm learning what I can and can't do. Eventually take three. Oh, for OT. That was a good decision to run that ball. And they nearly sprung it. One. Guys. My gosh. To throw is Jones. Looking left side and it's complete. Jones. Forced out to his left. Nope. Go for it, please. Go for it. Please, come on. Go for it. OT, though, I do think in the right dollar defense might be able to stop him. And if we get the ball, we're scoring. I don't care about nothing. I'm getting seven. It's a little teaching moment here. Overtime rules. Remind us how this goes, partner. He got ball. The running backs, when they try and slip out and making sure they're at the point of attack. When the ball's in the air, they get there and help force some of those incomplete. Jones. Come here, Jalen Phillips. You don't want to grab that, though. You don't want to grab that for me. Here's Jones. He's gonna let this one go deep. Okay. Uh, this has happened to me in leagues before. You, you, you lose your first one. Dang, man. Oh, stupid decisions yield stupid and bad results. That's how I look at that one. I just. Made some bad decisions, um, and we're all in one. Dang, tough freaking toes. We'll beat them next time. Uh, we had a great lead to start. We were getting stops, and then I just freaking that pick to Waddle was like what changed the entire thing. Dang, man. Okay, well, it's the way she goes. Um, yeah. The, well, the two picks. I threw the pick on the post, and I threw I threw two picks on post, essentially, um, is what changed the game. You can't throw two picks. Is what it is. I learn. I will be better. I have the Ravens next week and then the Bills and then the Bengals. I have an absolute gauntlet. I could realistically be 0-4 if I don't get it together. So cross your little fingers. Cross your thumbs. Let's try and get a win. Dang, bro. Ugh. Sorry. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, week two. Uh, the Ravens. This is a tough. This is me losing not LOL. This is someone I've played in the playoffs. This is not an easy out. Let me just, I'm going to look at, it's not an easy out. This is tough, bro. Ugh, Tua, I need to be better for you. I need to be better, be better for me, and I need to be better for everybody. That was just not what I wanted. That's not the type of game plan that I wanted to go in. It's not the result that we wanted. Um, 
that game got away from me. It was it's simple. Like that just game just got away from us. It was OT. We had a chance to win. We got him on fourth down, and he freaking dotted us up to Tyquan Thornton. Um, I had Nick Needham on that dude. who's like my slowest DB. It was just poor execution as a whole. Um, I got to get back on track. I got to get the ball in my receiver's hands quicker. I got to get the ball out of Tua's hands quicker, and I got to win. Can't go 0-2. I love this team, though, but we can't go 0-2. This time, Jackson will throw it. That's the one guy you got to watch on this one. Receiver-wise, it's Mark Andrews and then everybody else. So I'm just going to leave everybody else kind of in man. And uh, I'll be responsible for Mark Andrews. And this turns into a nice game. He's short. Come here. Get over here. Good defense. Okay, hey, Tua, let's be great today. I, I got a different offense. Um, not that the first one wasn't good. Um, I don't think it's really fair to give up on it just after one. But I do feel like I, I need better tight ends to run the one that I did in my Titans franchise. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. Go, Tua. Go, Tua! Hey, he's going to be one of the leading rushers amongst quarterbacks. Tua going to throw. Go Mostert. Go Mostert. That's the first. Simple. Throwing now is Dot. Good throw to a. They'll look to throw on third and goal. I am struggling in the red zone. Okay, we do get ball at half. Um, just not quite used to this yet. Sometimes it takes a while, man. To get, to get everything figured out, it takes a while. Dang. Go, Keon. Got him. Keon crossing, baby. Good job, Mostert. He's got no timeouts. Minimum, I'm, if I'm smart, I'm going into half plus six. With ball at half in a, in a must win game, so I don't hate that. Yo, Moster needs the ball more. If I don't feel confident throwing every play with Mr. Tugavala, I love ya. I need Moster to be great for me. I really do. Now a play fake. Here's Tugavala. Good job, Tua. Got him. He did not. Got him, Gasicki. Boom. To his first touchdown pass of the season to Mike Gasicki. And the Ravens are in a absolute box right now. And we get ball at half. Okay. They fake the handoff. Now to it. a beam, Brett. That's a beam, Brett. In a clutch situation to throw that ball. That is tough. Freaking yards, huge, 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 huge play. Okay, Tua, we're cooking, bro. We're cooking. Now Mostert off the read option. Mostert, close. Good throw, Tua, right on the money, Tyreek Hill. First down. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Such a beam, Tua. Such a beam, my guy. Good throw. Good job, Moser. 17 0. Now, Tonga by Loa. Two deep, guys. Okay. Take the dub. Tua, good game. Efficient. Yeah, maybe not the craziest stats that we're putting up, but that's a big win against one of the toughest teams in the AFC. 153 and a touchdown for him. 10 for 13. Um, he ran on the ground for 31. Gesicki had that. Waddle, Tyreek only had two. But at the end of the day, guys, hey, boom. Good game. I'm getting used to this. I don't know if that's the offense. I'm not convinced it is, but it's not not the offense. I, I've considered potentially going back to New Orleans just for this scheme because he kind of, this team is really good in New Orleans scheme. If I put Waddle at one side, I'm always trying to think because a lot of people run the same scheme no matter what. I don't, I'm not like that. I'm always trying to think of, okay, how do I utilize my abilities the best? In my mind, if I put Tyreek on one side and Waddle on the other side, and then ran tight offset, tight end, audibled around a little bit, 
that might be what I try next. I think that could also be really good. Well, we, we might try that against the Bills and just see how it goes. Okay, let it down. Boom, week three, one and one. Stat-wise, lighting it up. MVP Tua. One touchdown, two interceptions, 233. Beast. Um, like I said, I'm going to try that offense. I, I'm always looking for different stuff. I'm going to try the, like, I just think it would be, imagine how toxic that would be. I have both of them playing the inside wide receiver position and just audibling around out of that. I don't know why. I feel like it's so crazy. It just might work. It's just kind of where my brain goes. Like, how do I utilize the fact that I have the two fastest receivers? And so far, I'm not utilizing it. No one's afraid of me. No one's backing off. I don't have the plays. I'm really either looking deep to Tyreek or deep to the other one. We have not been efficient, but that does not mean we're not going to be efficient. We're going to try something out against the Bills. Bills Mafia is ridiculous, um, which is really, really not fun. But they're in my division. They're 2-0. This is Evan, dude. This guy, if, for those of you who watch Packers franchise, I'm not going to give any spoilers, but you know who this dude is. And the worst part about this dude being so good, he's freaking Canadian. I can't hate him. He's Canadian. He's from my own country. Um, but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we got the Bills. Let's go. Get there, Holland. Yes, sir. Dude almost just hit a clip on me. Oh my god, dude almost just hit a clip on me. Dang, that's a beam. Fumble. Cool that he's running actually real, like that's that's something you would see them run. They actually run like a very similar play to that, so I can't be too mad about that. But like I said, this this freaking opponent, man. This guy, I can't stand him. He's a good dude, but in Madden wise, I can't stand him. Now they run the sweep as Allen just dude, hits me with the pop pass. And that receiver goes behind the line of scrimmage and it looks like he's going in motion. Yep, got him! Let's go, Elijah! Hit a clip, Brett. Thousand IQ. Good job. Okay. Tua, come on. Go, go, Mostert. Good job, Raheem. Yo, Mostert. Mostert! Good job, Mostert! There we go, Jalen. There we go, Jalen Waddle. Nice catch, Waddle. It's just a matter of getting this to work. Like, getting those passes that are deep to be completions is going to be what's, like, the biggest part of this entire thing. Because as of right now, they're not. That's a beam. Let's go, Reek! Come on, man! There we go. I found something. Raheem, nice catch, Raheem. We got fight, dude. This is the scheme. This is the perfect scheme for this team. Nice throw, Tua. Nice throw. Stay alive, man. In this case, though, the DB matched it move for move. The pressure gets there. Alright, we will take three here if we need to. With the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. Oh, he's gonna let this go for the end zone. Good try. Fourth and twenty. What else do I do? Allen gonna keep it again. And a strong run. They'll find their way taking what they can all the way to the end zone. He's got the hook up with Diggs. Touchdown. Went out of bounds. Saved him from a turnover. Go, Ty. Go, Ty. 
is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Got a man Let's catch Jay. Right. Again, they will throw it with Tonga Bailoa. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill. Two and now, third and goal. Got him. Okay. I don't know how to stop him. Clearly, you've seen that. Don't have to be a rocket scientist so that I, I can't stop him right now. So, who knows? I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long distance. Option play. Here's Cook. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he's going to get this one down to the. GG's, fellas. Okay, that was better. I think I'm going to go Denver playbook because I have more read option kind of options. Um, but passing-wise, that wasn't horrible. 206 in the touchdown. Defense, we just couldn't get a stop. Uh, we were able to push the ball down the field. When the first drive, I felt like I missed two wide-open throws with two. But I think that's the most explosive way to use this team. But, man, one and two doesn't look good on me. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. One and two isn't feeling too good. Uh, ugh, dang. Dang. That game, we, we deserve to lose. The first game, I felt like we could have won, and the second one, we played good. So, I'm not crying. I'm not saying it's the end, but we've got to get it together soon. We really, really, really do. Uh, week four, we got the Bengals. We'll see you guys there. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boom! We're one and two. Process that. That's not good. It's not good. Uh, we got a QB1 check-in. Bills are 3-0. Oh, we're the worst team in the division right now. Um, I... I'm going to be trying my fourth different playbook, but this one adds a little bit more of a... I can switch... From tight, so I can still run what we did last time with the overthrows, but I actually can go to a different formation, which I really, really, really like next to it. So I can kind of run a mixture of both. Um, I said I still haven't really found my groove. If I'm, uh, if I'm being honest, I think I have some winnable games coming up. We had a really tough schedule to start. Tua gets an upgrade. Tua has just missed like, much as I love him, bro. He's missed a lot of easy throws. I, I gotta just, I gotta call it how it is. He gets another throw power, which is awesome. It's up to 88 throw power, but like. All those deep throws to um, Tyreek and while he's overthrowing those guys. And not that that's not realistic, but I'm just like, he's really just like, he has too much. That's why I don't think throw power matters that much for that reason. We got the two and one Bengals and Joe Burrow. Not going to be an easy game. Let's dance. Get wings. It's fourth down. Man open. That's too much. And that'll keep the drive alive. Try to lay one up deep. It's a tough matchup for you, kid. Oh my gosh. So as you said, you shrink the play, but pick out the plays that work best. Tua, if you miss him, I'm gonna lose my mind. Let's go, Waddle up top. <sighs> Told you guys, we're gonna get this. Three for three, 76 yards. I think I figured out how to be dominant with this team. There we go. Okay. Defense one stop. That was good throw too. As soon as he starts making those consistently, people are gonna have to choose which side they want to go to. And then the other side, I could have a post, I could have anything. We're gonna be alright. Game plan is gonna be a little more limited, but so is theirs. So that's when you just appeal to your top players, guys. Charles Xavier. There we go, Xavier. First pick for Xavier Howard. He's got pick artist. Going to the air, tug of Iloa. There we go, that's a good throw. That's a good throw. First down. Off a play action. Tug of Iloa. They're going deep for Hill. And that's on the money. And he's missed those. I, mean, I, I don't know if I can do that. How many times have we missed that throw? Like, it's open. It's there. I'm like, hmm. It's driving me crazy because I know it's there. That's a nice, simple throw to Wilson. Good job. But, like, we, that's four touchdowns. Here's Tua. Good throw, Tua. There we go. That's a beam. Feel good about my defense. Let's... Beam. Let's go, Tua. Good dot, Tua. Just needed that, bro. I don't know who, but one of you is getting open. Beam. Sit him down, Waddle. Fight for me. Got him. Tyreek Hill, let's go. Yep, he's just going to give me these kind of short throws. 
We're allowed to change his release. Maybe on the deep throws, it's like it could be something to do with Tua's release because right now he's missing every deep throw. So it's like, there's like, look at how slow and awkward that release is. I usually try not to, but like, it's a bad release. I need all the help I can get with Tua, bro. I really do. Oh yeah, this is this is the best song. Got him. Let's go. Tie. Rekill. Let's go. There it is. Come on, Key. Oh, dude, I'm playing back. Oh, Key on. I think I got Waddle again. Yeah, Jalen Waddle. Holy moly. Dude, we're throwing it. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on yep. third down here. Take the drag. Don't overthink it. Take the drag. Yep. Wilson again. Mr. Wilson. First down. Throwing now is tongue of Iloa. No, whoa, Kendall. Whoa. Oh my gosh. If I lose this game, dude. Try and throw forward with Burrow. He's gonna run I got two people on him. He just doesn't care. Okay. Good job. Good job, Key. Okay. Let's go get seven and end it. Get seven and end it. Feet Waddle. Feet. Yes, sir, Jalen Waddle. Okay. They run with Mostert off the option. And he can't quite get that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. Ah, GG's. GG's. Okay, stat-wise, I want to see because I don't know. I think I'm going to get that to a, like, temporary break. We had 394 and three touchdowns with him. Uh, receiving 218 or 183 for Waddle. Tyree Kill had six for eight. And this was the type of game. Hey, we're back. Don't worry about me. We're going to find a way. I promise ya, we will find a way. Dang, I'm mad about I'm mad about game one. Game three, the Bills game, I can't get over. But like, I think we should be three and one right now. I really do. That was a solid one. We do, like I said, it was a QB checking game, so I do get to go talk to um, talk to the coach and get those plus four deep accuracy for him. We are allowed to change QB releases. I just think Tua's is way, way, way too bad. Um, so I'm gonna give him a new different release. Long overdue. I wanted to like be stubborn, but like it is slow. And if people start blitzing me, I'm in trouble. Two and two. Um, statistically, five touchdowns, two picks, and 833. A couple more good games, and we're, we can turn this thing around. Okay, this is kind of one thing you get with this team. Tandem breakout with Waddle. This is where both of these guys are going to help each other. Um, I'm going to challenge Jalen Waddle here to be the best he can be. And if he gets 150, he's going to continue to break out. And it's every single time he gets Tyreek Hill XP. So, like this, if you can get into this loop with these two, it can be really, really, really dangerous. Um, as far as scheme-wise, I have a few different ideas of kind of what where my brain is going with this. I feel like my, what I ran last game is what I should run, but I need to mix in more trips. I, I can't be just super, like, one-dimensional on that stuff, but, like, the short throws were there. Like, it, it really, really did look good. I, I felt pretty strongly about that offense. I think that's the type of offense that... If our biggest thing that we need to like figure out is Tua, that's going to be the thing that's going to help me get Tua upgraded and help me potentially get Tua abilities, which is the dream of this franchise. I got to throw for lots of yards with this dude if I want to get him abilities. So I'm going to keep throwing the ball. I'm going to keep going crazy. Um, his deep throw accuracy is getting better. We got a game against our division rival Jets. So let's go. What is this? Tight off, set tight end. Wilson's throw complete there to Moore. Mm. And they get him down. Where to guard? On third down, Shit. Wilson. Good decision. He finds his man complete. It's Wilson. That's actually smart. Flag comes in. This oh my gosh, my leg. Uh, he's got it. And he's put up trying to help out the head coach in his decision making process. Okay. Stands, fellas. Good drive by him. Really good drive by him. That's a dot. That's a dot. Good throw, Tua. Play action. Now it's Tua. They're going deep for Hill. 
Got him. There we go, Tua. Love that, Tua. Hey, heat up, fellas. Heat up. Come here. There we go. Fourth down. Tua is on the money right now. Let's keep this up. Got him. Got him. There we go. There we go. Pass committing. Tua. Tua. Tua, man. Good try, Reed. Man, love that decision. Now it's Wilson. No. It'll be a 47-yard attempt from the left hash. He's got it. Can we run, please? Come on, Mostert. Come on, Mostert. Need more. There it is. In motion right is Wilson. Tua on fourth down. Beam. Good throw, Tua. Good freaking throw, kid. Yeah, got him. There it is. Come on, Raheem. Beam. Let's go, Wilson. Good dot, Tua. Mike McDaniel, love that one. That was a good, that was a good route combo. Love that. Freaking love that one. Nope. Yes, sir. Charles Xavier. The veteran. Okay, get seven your bread in this game. In motion right is Wilson. Beam, beam, beam. Good throw, Tua. <sighs> Got him. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Uncorks one for Davis. That's an absolute two. I respect the heck out of that, especially because of who it was, too. Respect that, too. Okay, two over the other dance. Oh, my gosh. Two great reads. On the money. On the money! Boom! Tua. Good throw, man. Give me a nice little motion block. Let him, let him pick. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that throw. Under pressure, accurate to a backflip that. Let's go. There we go. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. And he will bring it back. It's a pick. Hey, GG's, Brody. Hey, big time divisional win. That guy was good. Um, our defense clutched up to a 257 and four touchdowns. No complaints. Did not miss a throw. Made a lot of big time throws. Although, like I said, beginning of the year, it was ugly. Now we're starting to make those throws. Like the step up in the pocket, throwing posts like he's throwing posts right now. Tyreek and Waddle are getting under them. Um, and we're playing good football. That guy did a good job of blitzing us. But like we kind of slowly neutralized it um, as we went. That's kind of how I felt about the entire thing. He, he, he was doing a really good job. Don't, don't get me wrong. I thought, I thought he was doing good. It's just... We did a better job just kind of neutralizing it and making it so, hey, you know what? You're not just going to blitz me all game. I got I to gotta be able to throw checkdowns. In that offense, you have to be able to throw checkdowns and have good short plays to get them to stop blitzing you. Because if you don't, they're just going to blitz you all game. With that 35-16 to 16 win, we are now 3-2. and two. Um, two has got about 1,000 yards. I think he's got seven touchdowns to two picks. We're going to keep building on that. We're going to keep getting better. We got a tough division. I know it's a tough division. I'm well aware of that. Um, but at the end of the day, we just got to keep winning, dude. I'm feeling pretty good. Nine touchdowns, two picks, and 1,000 yards with Tua. 151 with Mostert. He's been all right. Um, teams have done a good job against our rushing attack. But like I said, the main thing about this team is getting Tua better. And I think we're doing a pretty dang good job of that so far. So, ladies and gentlemen, see you guys soon. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, week six. Um, three and two. Minnesota Vikings. They got Justin Jefferson. You, you know what you're getting with uh, with them. I think it's just all about, like, if I were to give you guys a blueprint, it's similar to my team. You just got to get a lot of pressure. You got to blitz the league. Um, 
You can't let him sit in the pocket. Their defense is not crazy. We have upgrades with Tyreek and Waddle, which is awesome. Tyreek is now maxed out at a lot of these spots, which is beautiful. Shout out Tyreek Hill, 98 overall, um, plus one spin move. Now, Jalen, his upgrades, I want to get him to 90, but I don't, I wouldn't change either of these guys' abilities. I think both of them are just freaking stupidly good. I, I, I really, really, really do. Um, I don't know who has more yards. I'll give you guys a stat check, offense and defense, real quick before we hop into this. Tua playing good football. Defensively, we got three and a half for Channing, one for Xavier, none for Phillips, and none for Chubb. Oh my goodness, they're fighting it. Xavier two, Keon, Noah got one. And then in the receiving game, we got 128 with Cedric and Trent. Chubb. These are my kind of two checkdown receivers. 90 speed and tall. Both of them are pretty solid checkdown receivers. Cedric Wilson, 6'2", 90 speed. Star dev. Like, both of them. I'm happy with both of them. I like them. You got two guys who can run deep, and then you got those two. Um, Receiving-wise, we got pretty much the same, 372 to 340. Tyreek's got all the touchdowns, but Jalen Waddle is going crazy as well. Guys, Minnesota week. Let's yeah. dance. They're indeed going for it as they look to beam. Good throw, Tua. Oof, not a fourth and inches throw that I was planning on making. Not necessarily probably the one that I wanted to make. But it's the fourth and inches throw that we got. Tua, man. Beam, Tyreek Hill, let's go. I'm smart. I'll figure it out. I promise you. I'll figure it out. Oh wow, good dot. On third down, Cousins. It's gonna be short, no. Back to the ground, Cook. And a strong run there. Play fake, Cousins. To be in the throw. Tyreek will probably get open if he's in two man. That's all right. It's as good as a punt. They teach you as a quarterback to do that, and it's not as good as a punt when they return it. But that works as a punt. That's such a freaking game. Just roll. My God. They try again with Cook. Pushes him over. And he will fight his way into the end zone. That he can complete and then get to the running game and try and get things settled down. Yeah, it's catch Reek. Dottom on the move on first down. Off a of play action. Tongue of Iloa. He's got a rifle one deep left. Beam. Okay. That's what this offense brings. We, we can be down. We can have a bad drive. Give us three plays. Two a waddle. Oh, let's dance. Okay, defense, one stop before half. I can score again. Cousins gives way to Cook. He'll take this to the... Here's Cousins. Open man, he's got Jefferson across the formation. To throw, Cousins. He's going to throw one up for the end zone. Dude, I need him. It's incomplete. Took a shot. Wow. First off, I'm mad for him because I think that could have been a crazy pitch. Second off, I'm mad for myself because I, I didn't think he had any time left. I honestly did not think he had any time left. Come here. Now this one complete downfield on the left side. And he'll be taken. On third and one, here's Cousins. And they'll wind up getting this one to throw his cousins. It lurked, kid. Needed that. I'm so bad at those picks, too. Two are going to throw. Good job, Kendall Sheffield. Make a play for me, Chef. Good job, Kendall. And again, it's Tugga by Loa. It's a beam, Tua. That's a beam, Tua. Cedric Wilson. Out of the pocket. I was worried it was a little bit worried it was going to be inaccurate. It was not. Answer working from behind. And remember, this offense has sputtered yet to score here in the second half. They'll need to check. That's in the double coverage. There's bad reads, and there's good reads. 
There's bad read. No, there's good read and there's bad read. And then. Throwing now is Chugabailoa. Two. Got it. Jalen Waddle. Well done, Sid. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Yo, that's a connection right there. Jalen Waddle. Seven. Good job. GG's. Oh, 300 offensive yards. Um, two, I think, had five touchdowns. And we clutched up at the end of the game. We started making some plays. We started making some really, really, really big throws. And we got the win. Um, yeah, five touchdowns and 300 yards for Tua. If it wasn't for that freaking pick on that long play, I think there's a chance I'd trigger a breakout. I think I deserve it with how he's been playing as of late, but it's neither here nor there. We'll see in week seven. Oh my gosh, I, I have a breakout receiver. Who is this? Jalen Waddle, four touchdowns or two. I accidentally clicked that so fast. Um, okay, can I make that my number one priority? It's definitely a priority. It's not my number one because at the end of the day, uh, we, oh, I think this is a CP. I don't think we have a Steelers user. The Steelers are always a tough sell. I think someone spun the Steelers, but then was like, I don't know if I can do it. It just shocks me because I think they're a fun team. Um, if you're wondering why I have trade offers, it's because there's a couple CPU teams. We're obviously not allowed to trade with the CPU. Um, just because we do these leagues so much. And yeah, that, that's why. So as of right now, no breakouts. This is our first force win of the season. Tua has got 14 touchdowns to three picks. Tyreek, 471, 423. I would say despite a little bit of early season adversity, I think we're kind of starting to figure it out. I really do. Uh, our division is ridiculous. 5-1, five 5-1, and 4-2, and 4-2. Four and four and this entire division is bananas. I can't really afford to lose a game. Um, but yeah, that being said, guys, um, we will see you all in week number eight against the Lions. Assuming, I actually think the Lions might not be playing either. We got some bots coming up, I think. I think the Lions got quit. I don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll know really soon. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, boom, we back. Week 10. Yeah, that's a big gap. Um, literally, for the first time in franchise history, I've been doing these a long time. I had three straight fourth wins. We played our first six games, and then I was just bought, bought, bought. Um, back to back to back. Uh, I'll show you guys the stats from all these different games. The Lions dude, I think, joined after. Three touchdowns for him. Uh, we still have a chance with Jalen Waddle. If I can get over four touchdowns or 200 with Jalen Waddle, I do get an X-Factor breakout. This game, 2 went crazy as well. Um, and this game, I think, was another good one for Tua. 270. So, stat-wise, so far, like I said, I apologize for the gaps. Um, CPU teams, everyone's always invested, and then they lose. They go 0-4, and then they quit, and it's, it's difficult. Uh, Tua has 23 touchdowns to four interceptions. Playing really good football right now. Um, that's really all I can say. Mostert's got 371. Receiving-wise, these two have the same. Cedric Wilson's having kind of a sneaky good year. Um, Channing Tindall, five sacks. Our sack numbers are bad, and our pick numbers are bad. But our quarterback numbers are really, really, really good. Like I said, his player tag's a franchise QB. I believe that Tua is a franchise QB. I'm just saying it. One of the better players in the league right now. Um, I don't know if yearly awards are up or if it's after this week that we get to see, but I would be, you surprise me if he wasn't potentially in the running for MVP. Yeah, look, boom, fourth for MVP. Keep up these numbers, keep doing our thing, we're gonna be fine. We're playing against the Browns. Let's go. Oh, I have upgrades. I'll do the upgrades after. His user is gonna run to 14, but I also might have our Sega white side. Throwing now is beam, beam, Tua! Look at the touch on that throw. Again, they will throw it with They're going deep for Hill. Got him. Tyreek. Oh, you cannot get to the one and not score. He was run committing, though. Mm. Absolutely the best throw I've ever seen. Best play I've ever seen. Sometimes a desperate team can be a dangerous team, right? You're exactly right about that, but they shouldn't be. When they're on that, make sure you knock them back on their butts. Watson's throw taken in by Cooper here. They're understanding the coverages, and they're finding the open holes in the defense. And he will reach the... Watson on the move to his left. Thank you! Oh, I deserve that. I really did. Oh my gosh, we deserve that. 
Now Tua. Dean. Good throw, Tua. He's so freaking confident in that defense. Yeah. Still confident? Still confident in your quarters? There we go. Backflip. Terry kill, let's go. I was like, eventually one of these guys is gonna get open. Like you can it's inevitable. Faking the give. Now Watson. Ah, the rookie's close. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Peg. And this is good. Here we go on fourth. Watson. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. What? And they turn it over. That was horrible. Okay, do you guys want to see if the same thing works? Watch. Last time I did this, they flipped sides and messed with his dudes, and, and then Ty was open. But it might not happen this time. No. He adjusted. Look at look at Tua right now. Look at Tua's at a dip. MVP him. MVP him, please. Got him. Jalen Waddle. Got MVP two, baby. 305, three touchdowns, one interception. And the win. It was messy, but we we rebounded. Really, really, really nice. We we got right back to it. Um, little bit of a rocky start. But going into the bye week at kind of the halfway point in the season, guys, I don't think I have a single complaint in the world. Um, two is about to get an upgrade. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Javon Holland's gonna get an upgrade. I'm gonna go zone with Javon Holland. Um, he's he's unbelievable. Love Javon Holland. Plus two awareness. Plus one gets zone covered. Jalen Phillips gets an upgrade. Dude, we've struggled on our pass rush. Like I was hoping for one of these two to go crazy, but I have just it has been all over the map. Just not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. Jalen Waddle gets an upgrade. He's gonna be a true 90, 91 overall. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. So, halfway point in the season, I'll show you guys where we're at for awards and everything now that we've actually played. Um, we're near the top of our division. I think the Bills, we're fourth in the NFL in passing and we're second for MVP. Hey, let's get a clap for that. Second for MVP, 26 touchdowns to four interceptions. Um, our, div our division's going crazy. Bill Patriots are 8-1, Bills are 8-1, I'm 8-2. Everyone has good records. We got the Texans, we get to play both of them in the second half. Um, I'll see you guys for Texans week. Play zone, boom, fellas. New day, okay? This day is going to we got we got to talk about contracts. We're, we got all of our games. We we had a really 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 interesting schedule this year, um, where we just had a lot of force wins. Contract wise, we also have really good contracts. I don't really have anyone to sign. We have a ton of money. Um, oh no, we don't. We have nine. What? Oh, I thought it said 119 million. Okay, thank goodness we don't really have a ton of people to sign. Phew. Um, we're playing the Texans here. We got lots of upgrades, which we're going to do before this game. I want to show you guys all these upgrades. Tua gets another upgrade. Um, he's having an MVP year. I think if I can have a good end to the season, we could win MVP with him, which could potentially boost him all the way to X-Factor, which would be bananas. In which case, if I can pull that off, you better kill a for another year because, bruh, that would be unbelievable. We're going to go scrambler with Tua. Um... Um, plus one throw on the one run, plus one break sack. Um, Michael Dieter. Manuel Ogba. I thought I had a breakout. My brain's just stopped working. Texans are a good team. Let's go. I don't know. My brain just stopped. Now a play fake. Here's Tug of Iloa. Escaping the pressure right. Oh, he's going to take a shot. Tua. Away. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Huh? Bow. Hey, a lot of two haters. Play action now, Mills. Ah, good play. Grab it. Yeah, that's pretty well his combo that he's done almost every single time. Like, quite literally every single play he's done this combo. So, I know what I don't need to defend. I'm just gonna send the entire team. I'm gonna cover two. Need him. Need him. Need him. Need him. To throw Mills. Good defense, fourth down. He should go for this. If I was his coach in his year, yeah, I'm telling him exactly that. I I just think momentum-wise, the way I've been playing with the Finns, 
you got to try and at least get some momentum. You don't have the best team, you're the Texans. Um, I think you got to go for this, personally. As much as I don't want him to, yeah, that's an absolute, that's an absolute book. I'm going for MVP. Sorry for the disrespect. I'm trying to get to a breakout. I, that's disrespectful. I hate myself for that, but hey. All those things going through his head might have caused him to drop it. He'll get this into the hands of the dream, nice catch. Like I said, the only reason we stopped there is just, like I said, it, it's sadly, the lane as it is, it's 100% stat related. I just. They fake the handoff, now Tua. They're going deep for Hill. And this is caught inside the five. Did in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no. Brad, oh, what about? Holy snack pack. Dang. Dude's really just crazy. Like, he's actually crazy. He's left that open four times now. Like, does he just have no interest in covering this? I think I probably got him here, too. Ooh, a little over throw. Tua setting up shop to throw again. Backflip. Boom! That's a beauty, Tua. Right in front of him, one-on-one. -on -one. Let's dance. 21-7, baby. Let's go. Okay, we got to get him to move up a little bit. So, like, the way this offense works is in order to be able to throw 500 yards downfield every single play, I just have to make him respect the check down. So, it's just, like, literally throws like this. To Mostert. Oh, gosh. Mostert. Go, Raheem! Good run most, but throws like that open up everything else. So eventually, if I keep doing throws like this, like I would, I would say I might have that dude, but I don't know. Oh no, that's such a beam! Wow, she was to put that in third spot. Four touchdowns for Tyree killed, or three? Is that four? I think that's four. Play fake, Mills. Oh gosh, that's fine though. He won't score here. This is, this is where he, he can get here all he wants. This is third and long. Here's Mills. And got his man. It's caught. Here's Tua. Oh Tua, that's too good of a throw. That's too good of a throw, Tua. Here's Tug of Iloa to throw. They're going deep for Hill. Beam. Five touchdowns. Five backflips. Tyreek Hill. Two G's, bro. Six, seven touchdowns for Tua. Whoa, that'll help his MVP case. Okay, we got TSAP next. Like I said, guys, I, I always figure something out. I think I figured out the Dolphin scheme. 41 to 14 win. I think I figured out the Dolphins scheme. I, people are struggling with it. I don't know if it's going to win any Super Bowl year one. I, I, have, I have absolutely no clue. But all I can say is I think this is what gives me the best chance. Um, statistically, as of right now, two is sixth in the NFL in passing and second for MVP, um, as he should be with 32 touchdowns and five interceptions. 2,800 yards. One of the best passers in the entire league. Hey, we're doing our thing, man. We're doing our thing out here. Um, Receiving wise, Tyree Kill, 10,000 yards already. And then I believe Jalen Waddle's at like the 800, which is somewhat realistic. But yeah, check out Tua, bro. By far the best rating of anybody there. Um, and it's not even remotely close, which is awesome. So, okay, ladies and gentlemen, hey, show will go on. The show will go on. We got TSAP next week. It's no joke. Let's go. Okay, 10 out of, dude, this could be the Super Bowl matchup. Weekly awards. Um, I thought I was optimistic optimistic painfully optimistic that we might trigger a breakout with um with Tua bro Tua has been playing great um little disappointed that we didn't um six touchdowns like 450 and now I gotta go play TSAP which will probably be a little bit more of a low scoring game if I were to make a bet of kind of how this game goes it's gonna be played different I'm not it's not gonna be the same I gotta play great defense to beat TSAP um I don't know if you've seen this game before with the amount of star power that we have and his DBs are not that fast. So in my mind, 
I see this working, especially because he doesn't blitz very much. I think that's where potentially my like, uh, my path to beat TSAP is somewhat there because I don't know. I just feel like his DBs aren't that fast. His defense is crazy. I know exactly what he's going to play. He's going to have Nick Bosa rush me every single play. It's going to drive me nuts. Um, I'm already aware of that. Nick Bosa, I bet he's got 40 sacks with him already. Pass committed or edge threat elite and double or nothing are his two abilities. Um, how many stats does he have? 12 sacks. My gosh. Okay. Brock Purdy. Debo, George Kittle would have a ton of stats with him. He's having a good year with Purdy. Not as good a year as I'm having with Tua, but he's having a good year with Purdy. 4-15 with George Kittle. Debo's his main guy. The way TSAP plays, I just got to get after him. You know, that's that's kind of always my strategy. against him. blitz the league, let him throw it to you. Let him make mistakes, and then try and make plays on defense. His defense, slow-ish. So, like, for him to cover Waddle and those guys, I think he's going to have a little bit of trouble. I don't know that. I can't say it for certain, but let's go. There we go, Tua. Go. They find some open field here. Shoves him aside. And he takes it. Join him in the effort. They'll run with Moster. That's bad. And he'll go back. They're going for it. Here's Tua with it. And they hit him as he throws. Is this Purdy to throw it on first down. Got him. Xavier! Good job, Charles. Okay. I got to take three here. I feel like we're doing a good enough job against him to where taking three is not an embarrassing or bad thing. It's just kind of the thing that we may have to do. No way. On first down, Purdy. Again to the big tight end, George Kittle. And he's going to be pushed. Throwing here, Purdy. That is caught by the tight end killer. Touchdown. It's set to begin the third quarter, and Charles, if they had it now, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Throwing now is Tugabailoa. Finally, finally. Got him. Thank God. Okay. To throw again on second down. McCaffrey again. And he slips up past. Purdy sets up to throw again. He's gonna loft one deep left Noah. here. This is caught inside the field. Getting outside of the, the pocket. That they'll do it on purpose. Doesn't even need to be a breakdown. Just I, they move. It's a quarterback sneak. So call that no gain on the sneak. And <laughs> still a yard short here on fourth. Defense didn't <laughs> oh, that's on so third funny down. Now what are we okay. going to see on fourth? Mm. We are soon to find out. But does this feel like old school He's taking football or what? Interesting. Okay. That was actually the smart move. Because my best chance to win was stopping him there. We held him the three. We got to score quick. Oh, gosh. We got to score quick. Okay. Two votes. I just need a laser. One laser. That's it. That's a bean, Brett. That is a bean. Fourth down, fourth quarter. Here's Tua. He's got this one. Ah, uh, good shot. GG's, bro. Dang, man. Okay, let's go. I thought we we're going to get to Vaughn Hall. Dang, man. Oh, it's tough over here. Okay. Plus three zone coverage. Bradley Chubb gets speed rush. This hurts our MVP case. 100%. We got to bounce back. Can't, can't say anything else. That definitely hurts our MVP chase. Noah got freaking mossed. He's got a random weird offense. I want to meet him in the bowl so bad. 
We'll make that our goal. We will see you in the bowl, Taylor. We will see you in the bowl. We got the Chargers and the Bills. Um, I'm now third in my own division and potentially not even in the playoffs. I'm not even convinced I'm in the playoffs. I'm not. Oh, I'm, I'm the sixth seed as it stands. It is tough sledding out here, bro, in the AFC. My division is ridiculous. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys week 14. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we got to bounce back. Dude, our division, luckily they just played each other. Um, so one of them got a little bit humbled. We lost to both of them, so we don't have the tiebreaker. But the Bills are still 11-1. The Patriots are still 10-2. Now, with that all being said, Chargers week. It is getting to the point where we're barely in the playoffs. I want to show you guys this so you know. We have a good record, yet we are barely scraping into the playoffs right now. As of right now, we would play the Ravens in the first round, which would be a rematch of that first game, which would be bananas. Um, but yeah, ladies and gentlemen, we got the Chargers. That game hurt me a little bit, but I'm not going to like, stat-wise, it hurt me, but I'm not going to freak out. We just got to bounce back. I got to be great today. Um, I got to dot up the Chargers. I can't overthink things. I got to be smart, and I got to get this dot. Let's go. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. Oh gosh, Mike. It's the open man. It's Mike Williams. To the air again, Herbert. Dang, Jones. Oh, I had. I thought I had my zones on zero. That's on me. I I was convinced my zones were on zero there, but they, they clearly were not. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. Man, it's caught at the six-yard line. Going to the air, tug of my low. Throw left side, taken Cut. in by Hill. Looking to pass, Tua. Forced out to his left. Oh my gosh, Tua, there it is! There's Tua again, B. Good throw, okay. Swagger back, swagger back, swagger back, swagger back. Tug of Iloa, working out of the gun. And he will slide. From the red zone now. To beam to a. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Offense. Still all right. Not saying it's been it's not been great, but we are we're, we're still alive. Seven up. Herbert. That's again complete to Palmer. From just shy of midfield, Herbert dancing to his left. Going. Come on, Key. It's actually not the worst thing because now he's got he can't just throw it up to them. Now he's got to make a read. He probably will run for maybe minus two, and then this shocking as it may be, this is my best chance to stop him right now. Now he's running it. No. Okay, so as I said, this is probably my best chance to stop him right here. Everybody's tough until they're in the red zone. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, there we go. Here we go, Mostert. Come on, Jalen. I believe I can get another stop. If I need it, I think I can get another stop. It's just a matter of... From the gun, it's Tua. The in the air and intercepted. That's not a good read. Oh my gosh. From the 40 now on second down. Come here. Oh my gosh. We're, he's keeping us in it, bro. He's keeping us in it. We are down and out. And he is... He's helping him. Okay. I can't. We can't lose this now. We can't lose this now. It's, I've made too many mistakes, and I'm still in the game. So, the way I look at that is like, hey, you better freaking win this. You tried, Jay. He just got boxed up today, fellas. We got boxed up. Herbert. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll have it in the red zone before he crosses. Okay, it's gonna get dark out, man. Woo! Okay. Two in a row. 
tough. Tough losses. Not good play style, not good anything. Like, just our offense had no flow. I wasn't taking the check downs. I wasn't... I was just getting screamed at by Bosa the entire time. I didn't know what to do. I didn't adjust. So what happens when you don't adjust. You lose games. I think we're going to be out of the playoffs, guys. Um, nine and four. I have three super tough games coming up. I do have a force win to the five and seven Jets. But I could easily lose these three games and go to nine and seven. Easily. I Easily. So... We got to clutch up. I think, I think if I win all three, I make the playoffs, obviously. But it's not going to be easy. So figure it out, Brett. Our Tua MVP campaign has taken an absolute nosedive. Um, but if we can find a way in these last games, there's always a chance. Dang, man. Dang, 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 dang. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Boom. I don't know, man. I don't freaking know. Um... These are tough, tough, tough games to end the season. Um, I have yet to all year um, in any franchise miss the playoffs, but this one, just how good my division's been, this could be the one unless I figure something out and I go and get Ws. I can't get discouraged. Um, the Bills have had an unbelievable year. I think he's rushing with Allen. I think he's, he's just going crazy. Like, it's just been... In a word, he's been dominant. 26 touchdowns, 8 picks. And he's ran for 206. 1,000 with digs. It's a tough team to stop. Um, as of right now, I'm, I would be shocked. I think I'm out of the playoffs as it stands. Um, I think the Bengals have taken my spot. No, ooh, we're still in there. Okay. I hope we lose this because I know the Bengals has some wins. We got to just beat the Packers. If we can beat the Packers, we have a win against the Jets. If I can even win against the Patriots or the Bills, we're in the playoffs. I, I'm not giving up. This team is too good. I'm winning the Super Bowl. Let's start with this game. Tap forward by Allen on the Jet sweep. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And they'll get this run. Now they run the sweep as Allen just pops this forward. Snap. Okay, that's not... That's not defense. Allen to throw once more. And he's got his tight end knocks. Here's Tongue of Ilo to throw. Good job, Tua. And he will slide. Looking to pass. Tua. And going deep for Hill. Ha! <laughs> Got him. Backflip that. Jordan Foyer. I know he's faster, so I was just like, I'm throwing it. Don't know, man. There's not a lot going on in this head right now. Just not a lot. Just throwing it. Throwing it. Throwing it. Throwing it. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that the territory at the 43. Going right back to Allen. Come here, Josh. On third and long, it's Allen. He's got his target. It's the tight end, Knox. Allen now on third and goal. Got him. Get lurked, kid. Get freaking lurked, kid. Oh, there it is. Okay, if we can get 7 4 half, we can win this game. If we win this game, we can get our swagger back. Two levels to this, bro. We just I just want my swagger back. Tua, the final shot before half. He's up to the 20. Okay. Oh, we get ball at half. Run the ball, maybe. I think I gotta run. Run, run, Rudolph, man. Run, run, Rudolph. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Tampa play. They run successful. He's got the dot. Holy, when the team needed us most, we showed up. Oh my gosh, good throw, Tua. Setting the throw on first down is Tua. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. Got him. There it is. Waddle, 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 waddle. Get out. Hey, if I win this game, I'll be waddling, dude. We're winning this. If I win this game, we can win the Super Bowl. Calling it right now. Defense. One stop. One freaking stop. Because right now they might start to feel like they've got to play catch up here. 
and start matching them point for point. But it's still too early to get there. You're at 70% or better two weeks in a row. You have a job as long as you want one in this league, won't you? I mean, let's face it, it's not just West Coast offense. Uh, he did not see Diggs. As well. you know how Diggs got that open? I have no idea how Diggs got that open, but he did not see him. Gotta have this one. Yes, sir! Here's a handoff to Mostert running left. And now the ball's out. Fumbled near midfield. Now this is picked up by the Bills. On second down, right back to Hines. And good space to operate. Now Allen. Being chased out left. He'll get... Allen has his man, it's Shakir. And he's going to be brought down. Allen. Looking for Knox on the crossing route. It's touchdown. One final try here for Allen. It's a touchdown. See some fans though holding up two fingers. Easy now. Yeah, but they're not the ones who have to actually make that call, are they? And it is caught. They got the two points. From the 10. Well, this one probably was fun down at the very end. Okay, that may kick us out of the playoffs. I don't know. Fumble. Freaking ducks. No words, bro. No words. I don't know. Who knows? Oh, my gosh. We'll see you guys in week 16. My gosh. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. That last game, bro. Now I got to play the Packers, who are ridiculous. Holy moly. So, we are officially, like I said, the first time ever we're out of playoff contention. Um, not going to see my name next to the playoffs. And the Patriots lost to the Bengals. I was banking on the Patriots beating the Bengals. No, I do have the tiebreaker over the Bengals, but like I said, I have two really, really, really tough games coming up here. Uh, both of these are definitely losable games. If I win both, make the playoffs, I'm guessing. If I lose both, I'm 100% out. Tua gets an upgrade. We've had a good season. Um, I don't necessarily feel like any huge regrets or like I don't feel like I've done anything crazy wrong or like I just, I think I need to run the ball more. I think I'm going to do that two running back thing that we, I was kind of doing at the end of the last one. I think... Having that ability to audible down, especially playoff wise, will help me a ton. So I'm I'm happy with that. I think that's a good kind of thing that I started thinking of. But overall, we got to play the Packers, and I can't lose to Rydell. So, oh my gosh, Packers Nation: Aaron Rodgers, Christian Watson, Lazard, Robert Tunyon. Yeah, you already know what it is. Let's go. Now a play fake, Rodgers. Holland, dude, I'm getting just Moss. Holy snack pack, I'm getting Moss today. Come here. Thanks, thank God. Oh, win this game, Brett. Good job, Emmanuel. Okay, we gotta be mindful of that now. Row, row, row. It's close. It's close. It's close. Get seven here, bro. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Does Kenny have inside stuff? They'll try and run here with Mostert. And he will get the handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. Catch three. Run the freaking ball, Brett. Holy. Just, I got to get through this game. If I lose this game, I, I can't live with that. If I lose to the Patriots, I can handle that. I can't lose this game. I really can't. This game, I've done enough already to win. I can't afford to lose this. Playoffs wise, I also can't afford it. Just, yeah, tough, bro. It's tough. 
first down, they go with Mostert again. There we go. First down. And then he stopped it from their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But just <laughs> As humbling as it is, I'm taking the point. I got no rhythm. I got no flow. This offense, ladies and gentlemen, it just might have to go. I got no rhythm, got no flow. This offense got to go. Got no rhythm, got no flow. Holy doly. What do I run then? Do I go... I don't know what I should do with him. Time remains here in this first half. We'll see if they can get something out of this drive, at least a field goal. They could certainly use hmm. He's got a good dot. Complete. Really, the really, really good dot. Half a play. play action. Now it's Rodgers. And he's got his man. Touchdown, Green Bay. Okay, come on. And they've got the lead. See what do you think the message is? The only thing that's working right now. I'm just, I might honestly just run. I <laughs> wish I was kidding. Wish it was not what this has come to, but I might just start running the ball. I think I'm going to have Waddle here. Unless do it just go crazy. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. Gonna look deep for Wilson. It got his man complete. Tua sets up to pass it. The quick slant. Good fight. Got to fight. Defense needs to stop, guys. Need to stop. I know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. Now a throw here to his running back. Oh, I can come down. I'm, I got five minutes left, man. Quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. Pass caught. Charles Xavier, I would have loved to pick there. I would have loved, loved, loved to pick there. Looking to throw again on second down. Rodgers. Looking for Tunyon on the crosser. On play action. Rodgers. The crossing route and hits Watson, and he'll be marked into the red zone. It's Rodgers. Pass complete. He's got Lazard on there, of course, with a touchdown, and that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Being chased out loud, and that's intercepted yet again. Don't deserve you, Xavier. We just don't. We don't deserve you, Xavier. We just don't. Boom. Good pick. Save the season, Xavier. Save the season. Okay, I just want a big run or something here. I'm just going to continue to hand the ball to my third route. It's the tough thing. Is at this stage. Good dot, Tua. When we needed him most, he showed up. Can we do a timeout, please? Conservative? Oh, my goodness. Conservative. Okay. Just win your next two games. Win your next, just win your next one. If I can somehow manage to escape this one, win your next one and we're in the playoffs. Game, GG's, okay. The show will go on, fellas. Oh, sometimes in seasons like this, it's, you just gotta find a freaking way. Victory formation. You find a way. Not always pretty. Get us to the dance. If we can get to the dance, we can win this. I just, mm, I know it. I know I can win this team. I just don't have it figured out how yet. Um, I don't love the way I'm playing. I don't love the scheme I'm running. I don't love anything about it. So, <sighs> GG's in the chat. That helps. The Bengals has a tough schedule coming up. I have now 10 wins. He has 10 wins. I don't know who the Bengals' last two games is. It's all going to come down to that. Um, I think my next game is pretty much a must win because in my final week, I have a force win. So with that win, we're 10 and 5. They are 10 and 5 too. The Bengals, or no, are the Bengals not better than that? The Bengals are 11 and 4. We have the tiebreaker. And who do they play? Because, like I said, he's the main guy who has a spot right now that I'm, I'm competing with. Look at that losing streak. My gosh. 
Oh my gosh. Yeah, no, we can we can win. He could lose both those games super easily. Super easily he can lose both. Like the easiest any okay, we got a chance. I think he will lose both of his last games. Meaning we might just be in the dance as a seventh seed. Cross your fingers. Win next week. Let's go. Okay, guys, this is where uh, T.D. Barrett's gone. Yeah, he, had to, he had to leave. Um, T.D. Bear hats here. Now, for the biggest game of the season against the Patriots. I should be able to beat the Patriots. Um, <clears throat> I felt like that first game got away from me. I made some dumb decisions. I don't know what to run on offense. I really, I feel like a lost puppy on offense. I didn't run this scheme against him last time. I think I'm going to try it again. <laughs> If it goes horrible, it goes horrible. I, I, I really don't know. If, like I said, if the Bengals lose even one game and I win one game, I have, no. If, the Beng if I don't lose another game and the Bengals loses one game, I'm in. If I lose this game, win the next game, and the Bengals loses both games, I am in. So... He's playing two really tough opponents. It all comes down to this. Uh, I'll give you guys a stat update of this entire season. Two has fallen off a cliff. Still a good year, 37 and 10. I'm not gonna, it's not gonna go on my like trophy case, but still a good year. Tom Brady, Joe Burrow, Jalen Hurts, Trevor Lawrence, um, Zach Wilson, Derrick Henry, Jamar Taylor, Jonathan Taylor, oh my gosh. I just got to win this game. I don't. I can't even think about missing the playoffs. I can't think about Vaughn Miller, 23 sacks. Let's just freaking go. Go Mostert. Even this, even just being in this offense for the last, that one play was a breath of fresh air that I desperately, desperately needed. Oh, I had to get out of what I was, that offense I was in. It was, it was not working. 100% it was not. This offense could actually be kind of cold with this team. With the receivers I have, this could be kind of On play good, action. I think. Here's Tua. Buying time to his left. Oh, Tua. Tua wants it. Tua's not ready to go home yet. Let me just tell you right now, Tua's not ready to go home yet. Play action. Now it's Tua. They're going deep for Hill. He's got it. Touchdown. Swagger. Back. Come on. T.D. Bear Hat's different. T.D. Bear Hat's better than Bear. Bear Hat throws more dots. And that one covering an even 63 yards in the air from just inside the 20, a short kick. And all around bounds. Any type of a gap to run through wasn't one available. My user right fell. Xavier. Oh, he either makes the best play ever, or he does not make. No in between. Good run, Brett. Shoot, three is fine. It's not good, but it's fine. Here's tongue of Ilo to throw. That's caught. Gotta be in the middle of the field. Hey, good call. Good call, coach. Good call, coach. 14 seconds. The defense. There we go, Shannon. We're ending the year with the same place we started this year. Hmm. I thought I lurked it. Okay. Ah, I thought I lurked that. Down. This is Smith with a grab. 
Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. This throw caught at about the five. He's gonna run it here. If, he's, if he has any brain, he's running this ball. Now to get even I'm running for it 100%. Come up first and goal. Just time-wise, he wants to take my timeouts. It, I'm not happy that he's running the ball, but I'm not gonna let him score running the ball. He's gotta earn it here. This is a run too. This is a run, run right. No. Looking to throw. Jones dancing to his left. And he's gonna find his man out of the short and out of bounds. Good stuff. Okay, his best decision here, time-wise, would be to run. He's gotta know that, right? He's gotta know that. I'm gonna run commit. They'll try to run with strong. And he's in for the line and to seize the lead before intermission. That's fine. Should have Sheffield here. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. Got a beam. That's Trent. Throwing again on second and ten. Tua. And going deep for Hill. And that is caught. Touchdown Miami. Tyreek Hill. As the first not going home yet, dude. I'm not ready. I, I want to be in the dance. Oh, I got to make it to the dance. And at least with that, he gets ball at half. But at least at minimum with that, he scores. It's a tie. It's not him scoring and he goes up. That's a beam from Tua. We could be scary in the playoffs. Trust. Trust. Nobody wants to see us in the first round. The opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response. One stop, Miami. One stop. find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. That's going to be caught. It's Jacoby. Off play action. Jones. He's got Smith here. And some room to run now. And he'll go down. Jones on third down. He's got his man. Yo, Bradley. Bradley. And Boom. Need some assistance. Jones now throwing on fourth down. Like, tell me I'm not great. Like, am I crazy, or is? Did my three defenders just sit If I'm crazy, you, you let me know. Like, I really feel like this was just not meant to be. I feel like I have been cheated more in Madden in this particular video than any other. Like, man, oh man. To throw again on second down. Tua. He's got this one complete to Sherfield. They run out of the shotgun with Mostert. There we go. There we go. Do I clock? I have to clock. I have to. I have to clock in and try and score. Or take three and send it to OT for the second time against this guy. There's really two options here. And both options. I at least got to take a little bit of time off the clock here, but I might try and fool him and score. Three points. Two at a throw. Don't want to go to OT, so I'm I, I'm scoring on any play from here on. But I definitely want to take a timeout potentially. Back to the running game with Moster. Now Tua. Here's strong one more time. It's a game of They'll give it to Strong. And he'll take this one up to about the 23. Dang, okay. We got a bank on Bengals to lose both games. We <laughs> oh my gosh. The play that's going to keep me up at night. Well, that play wasn't great. Nah, you don't even know. It was this one. It was the fourth and 11, dude. Oh, I ended up making a mistake. I tried to throw it to Gesicki here. Um, that, that was a dot, actually. This one. Gesicki kind of runs back to me right here. And I'm like, you know what? That's not a horrible pass. Duggar just makes a really good play. Holy moly. Okay. Well, now we wait. 
The Bengals loses to Darian, who's the number two. The Bengals played the number one and number two seed consecutively back to back weeks. Now, I don't know about anyone else. I think there's other teams who may be in the hunt who may completely end our chances. I quite frankly have no idea. I, I really, really, really couldn't tell you what's about to happen. Um, 10 and 6. The Bengals lose. Bengals lost 28 to 24. So me and the Bengals now, if the Bengals, if I win my next game, which I'm going to because it's a win, and the Bengals loses to the number two seed, which is the Ravens at 13 and two, I think I'm in the playoffs. But I got, let's, let's actually double check this because I don't, I don't want to get you guys pumped up for nothing. Now, look, the Jags are there too. Like one, two, three, four. No, but the Jags are the best in their division. So I'm really competing with the Chargers. Oh, God. Chargers have six losses? How many do I have? six losses. Chargers have the tiebreaker over me. I don't got a clue. We'll find out, I guess. I frick. Dude, if, it's, if I don't make playoffs, it'll be the first time ever. And I'll get to show off some other YouTubers who did. Man, oh man. how do I go for I've won two Super Bowls of the last one. At least you guys know these are real. Like, tough freaking toenail. Boom! We are in the dance, fellas! It was the most memeable. Okay, dude... I, I'm gonna, I probably showed the clip. They were in the most wild game I've ever seen. Darren was streaming it. Dude gets to the 48, and he said his coach suggestion, the Bengals dude, told him to kick a field goal. So he tries a 64-yarder for the win. He's short. And then the Ravens goes on the other side, kicks it for the win. The Ravens get the one seed, meaning that I get to play the freaking Bills. If you guys don't know, this guy is... Um, He's ended three straight Packers seasons for me. Three. Three straight Packers seasons. One dude. And the worst part, he's Canadian. But regular season doesn't matter. We're going to redo the depth chart. We're going to get our swagger back. And we're going to win. That's kind of the way I'm feeling about this. I have nothing to lose. Everyone in this league was making fun of me. I was a meme. I was horrible. I will own everything. I don't think they're necessarily wrong. I, I, I really, really, really don't. I don't even have my X Factors activated. Oh my gosh, I could have had freaking Hill double me this entire time. Okay, don't, don't freak out. No comment, but no one in this league believes that I have any chance in this game. They're all, oh, he lost to this guy. He lost to the Chargers. But the thing is, I have the most Super Bowls in these leagues for a reason, because you gotta just make it to the dance. You know, like, if I can make it to the dance, who's to say I can't win this? That's the way I'm looking at this. Who's to say? Are you going to say I can't win this? I think I can win this. I got to do my depth chart right. I got to get it together because my depth chart's been a little wacky. I got some random people at random spots. But all in all, I'm just spending my staff points right now. I got nothing to lose. Nobody thinks I have a chance. So you're the most dangerous person in any playoffs is the guy with nothing to lose. And this, I've won two Super Bowls in a row. Um... And I'm not going to tell you what franchise. I've won a couple Super Bowls in a row. I've been playing really good football. <sighs> in, any, in any event, it's the man. I forgot the quote. But let's look at the Bills team. Also, I'll, we're going to redo my depth chart with me. I got a hat on now. TD Bear hat. It's Tua, bro. It's Tua Magic. Can we get a little bit of Tua Magic here? It's more my defense that's super whacked. I kept these guys here because it was like, oh, that's smart, but... No, at the end of the day, I need, I need to move them down. I need, I need both these guys to have big days. I felt like we should have beat this guy the game before. I really did. And we just barely made the playoffs. Oof. Oof. Um, D-tackle. Okay, Wilkins goes there. Bradley Chubb there. It's more my DBs that also need a lot of work. Okay, DBU. Let, let's figure out our DB University over here, okay? That dude, I wanted him in, but he's been, like, literally the cause of more horrible disaster plays than anyone else on that team. That's offensive. I get it. It's, it's unfair for me to call him out, but, like, dude has been an absolute dumpster fire for us. Wish I was kidding, but he has been bad. Eric Rowe has actually gotten lots of picks. I'm probably going to keep him. He's a high awareness guy. Um, now, we got Javon Holland, Channing Tindall. I like Channing, but Channing is the reason we lost that last game because he didn't activate, which makes me want to put... Almost makes me want to put... ER there. 
just because Channing in the other game didn't activate, which drove me crazy. Guys, I got nothing to lose. Nobody thinks I can win this. Let's go shock the world and then let's go beat the Ravens. That's all I got to do. I just got to be 215 and one teams slash 15 and two. And then I got all, if I take both of them out, I'll have a layup and I'll be in the Super Bowl tonight. Bet. If I pull this off, I'll be impressed with myself. That's a tough road. But if anyone can do it, it's me. It's that most wonderful time of the year, the NFL playoffs, as we're underway. Nice kick. Now it's Hines. Good run. Oh, come on, man. Good job, Holland. Push him back. Push him back. Executing once they saw the play for real after having worked on it all week in practice. He's got a man. See, watch that playback. Like, rewind. That was man coverage. And explain to me what's just happened. Stephon Diggs. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Now a play fake. Here's Tug of Iloa. They're going deep for Hill. And that new. On play action. Here's Tua. This one complete to Jalen Water. Does he have it? They'll try it now with Mostert. He's got it. Phew! Oh my gosh. The fourth down run successful. Oh. Come on, Brett. Play action. Now it's Tua. He's going to loft one deep left side here. They go to a different section in the playbook, show them something different. Either way, they want a repeat of their first drive. That is complete. On first down, Allen. Escaping the pressure right. He'll air this one out deep for Davis. Touchdown! Get on. It is, but I think you hit the key words early on. So they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Okay, I can't. And try and get back we're not gonna game. quit, obviously. So second and four from the twenty-two. We're not quitting. We just gotta find a way, fellas. Find a way. What else can I say other than just find they a freaking the way? Now Tua. That's Good job, Mike. Get seven here. Get seven here. Get seven here. Get seven here. in the slot in motion left. On first and ten, it's Moster. Good job, Raheem. Okay. Seven before half, or seven now. Stop seven after half. It's the only way. Tua looking to throw on third and two. Got a man, it's Waddle. Complete. Good throw, Brett. Good and throw. Off a of play action. Tongue of Iloa. Oh my gosh. Tua! Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. Oh my gosh. He just misses. Second down, Allen. Like, pick that, man. Throwing now is Allen. Forced out to his left. Uncorks one for Davis. It's caught inside the 25. And all the way home for a big bar. Let's see if they can get something going here on third down. It's your best throw of the day, too. It's your best throw of the day. Here's Tonga by Loa on first and ten. To the sideline, and that is a good catch, Reek. We don't have a great chance, but with with seven here, we have a chance. Here's another first and ten. Now to it. Team to throw to him. Not done yet. I'm not done yet. Now following the touchdown to kick. By rule, that comes out to the 
Here's Allen to throw it. He'll air this one out deep for Davis. And this is caught. Touchdown, Bulls. Looking to pass to him. This will be caught. It's Waddle. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Two and now on first down. Nothing. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. And going deep for Hill. And this Saw it. Inside the five. Oh my God. We get bought half, man. What do you do? You cross your fingers. You live. I don't know. Try and stop him, I guess. Here's Allen on first and ten. Eluding the pressure right. I can't, bro. Oh my gosh. As the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Going deep for Diggs. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. We'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation. If it Yo, you're gonna press me? You're gonna press me? Come on! Not going home. Not going home. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. And he'll be brought down. Clock on the So we're at half touch success this year. Haven't really had to deal with a lot of adversity at half time. I can't, bro. He gets the ball and he scores in he scores in two plays every time. Like I said, this guy has only ever won one Super Bowl. I just have ridiculous trouble against him. We know we're better than this. We proved it all season. Let them disseminate. Maybe if I score, I don't know. Going to the air. Tug of Iloa. And he lost the football. We talk a lot about setting the tone to start the game. Well, you want to start the tone right in the third quarter as well. And nearly lost a football there in their first drive. And sometimes we overdo it when we talk about halftime adjustments and what teams are going to do. Most of the time, it's just a matter of executing the game plan you brought in. But I guarantee you, they didn't draw that play up on the whiteboard at halftime. They're fortunate to retain possession. So first and ten now in Buffalo territory at the 44-yard line. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that is caught. Can't stop me, bro. That's a score you felt they had to have. Oh, man. He's just freaking throwing it, man. He's freaking throwing it. And we can't pick it. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. The break there for this off. Holy freaking snack packs, man. Toward making that next step in these playoffs. And I think a key for them is to put together some good, long, extended drives. Work to run in a little more with that big... Crazy thing is, I'm one stop, man. I'm one freaking stop. This is high. The defense, Bradley, shut him up. There, and this D is fired up. Throw left side complete. That's Hines. Come on, fumble, 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 fumble. If this guy throws it up again and we don't catch it, I'm going to lose my mind. Come on! Can't, can't, can't. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna freak out. He's got the hook up with Diggs. Now they run the sweep as Allen just pops this forward. And he will score. Touchdown, Buffalo. Oh, he has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this. Situation. That was a ball. That one all. That one all. That one all. Throwing his Allen on third. They'll find Hines out of the backfield. Throwing on first down is Allen. And that is caught. It's so the shotgun snap to Allen. To the end zone. Allen will look to throw for it on fourth. Being chased out left. Dude almost caught that. Even put through the ringer 
in this one. Fourth down, fourth quarter. Here's Tua. Open net is water. On play action. Here's Tua. They'll get this to his tight end, Gesicki. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Off of play action. Tonga by Lower. One of the reasons they're down is that inability, though, to stop the pressure. We saw another example of it there. Holy sure snack pack. Of 12 months ago. I hate playing this freaking right game, man. Going deep for Diggs. <laughs> now we catch a pick. Okay. I have a rant montage that I'm about to go on. All respect to this guy. He deserves it. I'm not saying that's a it, but I'm saying the amount of frustration that I have when playing this dude, like, sometimes I'm just, like, annoyed with some of his, like, first off, this play, right, this is his second touchdown. That, that bugs me because I just don't see that as, like, a great read. That, that's number one. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you're in review. Um, tilt, horrible, my worst season. All year, my worst franchise season all year. Freaking, I don't know if this is going a year or two. I don't know. This dude, man, love him. Love him. But man, I felt like we actually had a kind of a fire season. Maybe we'll go to Superstar. Maybe we'll do a season two. I don't know. I'm going to show other people's perspective. I need redemption against the Bills. That's a kill. Like, if you do want a year two of the Bills, I'm just going to say this 10,000 likes. I'll try and get a year two. For some redemption, because this was this is not how we're going out, bro. This is going out sad. Like I am sad. This is a sad, sad, sad ending to this franchise. I'll have other YouTubers, um, and I'll have their links down below, so you guys can watch the remainder and see who wins the Super Bowl. Peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have a second channel where I post hockey gameplay. Please go subscribe. The nicest thing you did to me, just go check out that channel. Leave a like even if you don't like hockey. Give it a chance. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, my Instagram is at BrettBQB. My Twitter is TDBearYG. I am a part of Top Dog Madden. You can get all the best tips at topdogmadden.com for your ebooks, all those type of things. Thank you guys so much for watching. Kill the like button again. If you haven't killed the like button on this video, do it. And once again, go check out my hockey.